Okay, so a little while ago I hit a place in my business where I was not working that many hours and I had a shitload of free time and nothing to do with it. So I took on making a few different projects, one of which was renovating my room and making sure that there are more lights, more things to look at, although right now that desk is quite messy. Uh, and one of the end results of that was this light right here, which is actually made out of a cake pan and taken from a YouTube video. Now, it doesn't really look that like that much, but uh, when it's on, it's like staring into the goddamn sun. So uh, this is how I got there, and this is how you too can make a cake pan light uh, that will burn your retinas out. First things first, you're probably going to want to get an LED strip, one of the more affordable ones that you can find. But you're also going to want to make sure that you get an LED strip that can plug into a power source. You're also going to want one that's 5600K in terms of brightness. Uh, that makes it so that it's closer to daylight and doesn't give your face a weird greenish tinge. Once this project is done, um, it's designed to replicate something Daniel Schiffer put together, which is a cake pan light that is designed to replace a thousand dollar videography, cinematography, photography light. I ran into a number of complications on this project that I probably could have avoided, and you're gonna see one of those snafus happening right about now. Okay, so the back detached from this LED strip, and if you look, um, obviously this, yeah, the tape fell off. So I don't know if this is redeemable or if it's ruined everything, but we're gonna try to reattach it and hopefully that still works. So after carefully removing the adhesive backing from the LED strip that it was supposed to be attached to, you're going to uh, carefully backpedal and pretend like it was all part of the plan. That's right, it was just a test. You pass this time and uh, reattach that backing, hoping that it doesn't completely screw you over. Once you've finished undoing the damage from your careless shenanigans, uh, applying the LED strips is actually pretty straightforward. The adhesive backing makes it really easy. You just kind of put it in a little uh, spiral pattern around the edge of the cake pan until you run out of space, and then you just trim the LEDs. And assuming that you've bought the correct LED strip and the correct power supply that plugs into your wall, at this point, your project should be done. And I say should because that is definitely not the route that I chose. I chose to go the hard hacky way because yeah, I, I did that for I did that for the video. If you happen to make the same mistake as me, there is a way to redeem this process, and I'm going to show you that in the next few minutes over here. So once the wire get into it, we continue to to screw it. And the wire would was stuck at the, the metal cone at the end. So this is one way to connect it. Oh, okay. I also provide an installation. Smart. For them. We use a tape to tape it. So they won't move around. Well, it worked, but then they started strobing. Um, so what we discovered is that it needs a steady supply of energy. And if I can get this thing to connect, you can see that this 9-volt battery makes it work. Um, it's flashing because I don't have a solid contact, so let me try to get a better one. But this is how it's going to look. And now that you've finished salvaging, i.e. getting your dad to salvage the project that you were supposed to do yourself, uh, it is now up to you to cut through your diffusion cloth to help your light get the kind of light dispersion that would naturally make it so that it looks nice on people faces. Uh, so you're going to use a really dull pair of scissors, so this takes about five times as long as it should. That's the technique. Okay, so this is a power supply that my dad made. He, he's an engineer, and this was from literally the 70s. Check this out. And that is what we're going to use to power that. Nope, turns out your dad does not want to share his engineering toys from the 70s, so what you're going to do is buy this um, power supply that you found on Amazon for $55 that lets you modulate the watt, the amplitude, and uh, other things, voltage, <laughs> to make sure that your light works swimmingly. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect that via the hacked wire from the charger that you bought on Amazon that was supposed to do its job. So now you've stripped those wires and attached them to the power supply, and then you've attached those wires to the actual light itself, which is mounted via a tiny clamp to your hopefully readily available tripod. And there you have it, your own DIY cake pan light. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle through and eventually make but not actually save money in a DIY flight that was designed to save me money. Um, <laughs> that was a fun project and I like this light a lot. Um, it is a source of very consistent lighting for me and uh, makes my videos not look like crap sometimes when I figure out what to do with it. and. I'm not sure if I would recommend someone do the same thing. Uh, this approach was a lot of work. Probably I would recommend doing some more research before um, giving this a shot, but I think it was probably worth it. It was about $100 more than it should have been, but it was probably worth it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if you got something out of this video or you liked it or you decided to make a light of your own out of a cake pan, despite the warnings that came in this video, Give it a like or subscribe if you want to get on board with more content. Uh, any interaction that you have with this channel, whether it's a comment or um, something else, <laughs> is only uh, not only validating for me, but also helps YouTube figure out that this content is something that people enjoy and therefore it should push it to more folks. So it would really help me out a lot. Yeah, I think that's it. Bye.